Good evening, Dark Pool, sir. Good, ev good evening, everybody else. Let me just change this fucking camera because you don't want to look at me. You know, who wants to look at my fat face? There we go. Um. Anyway, uh, I'll be. I'll keep an eye on the chat because I'm not moving. Oh, still didn't fucking move. Go over there. Now what's happened? There we go. Right. Uh, it's a very, very depressing evening for me tonight. I'm very, very annoyed. Very upset. Uh, because greatest, greatest hits radio has gone from AM. Uh, no longer is it on AM. Um, and I think that's a bit of a bastard. Because I like listening to Greatest Hits Radio. Uh, all we get on it now is this shit. No longer available on this frequency. There you go. But the good news is you can listen in better quality, in stereo, and it's really easy. On an FM radio... I feel... Yeah, that's not, good. that's not good news. Why? Because I like to listen to it on AM. I'm okay, I'm okay, and uh, yeah... Uh, I like to listen to it on AM. I, I don't like to listen to it on FM. Um, because it doesn't mention that you can get it round here. Only mentions Bolton and some to three other places. Rochdale. Uh, two other places. Don't mention Stockport. Um, although I can get it if I plug an aerial into the back of summer. Uh, I don't have DAB radio. I don't want to, I don't have a smart speaker. I don't want to listen to it on my computer because I don't I don't want to use my computer as a radio in the same way I don't want to use my radio as a computer. Uh, this might sound like a bit of a whinge. That's because it's a bit of a whinge. Um, uh, there's been a radio station on 261 two, metres medium wave, which is what 1152 translates to. Uh, there's been a radio station there since 1974. When Piccadilly Radio, I can't remember the exact date, uh, but it was 1974, and the first DJ was a guy called Dave Eastwood, who is no longer with us. Uh, unfortunately, he's uh, passed on. Uh, but uh, I was talking to Steve the Oracle earlier, and he was telling me that he made a bit of a hash of it. Like uh, you, could, you know, he uh, he queued the record, and you could hear him on air queuing the record up. Um, you know, uh, but yes, it's a very, uh, very sad occasion. That's another station gone, uh, from the AM band or from medium wave, as we call it here in the, uh, the UK. Uh, you know, we call it medium wave, and um, you know, uh, I've listened to it for years, um, listen, listen to it forever. Um, you know, uh, in in all its different guises, uh, it was Piccadilly two six one up until nineteen eighty seven, if I remember rightly, um, when it became when when they split the when they took it off FM, it was on ninety seven FM point summer FM, they took it off FM, and uh, they replaced it with Key one hundred three. And what a load of shite Key 103 turned out to be. Uh, they uh, moved it from from FM to medium wave only. And uh, uh, they called it, they, they then changed the name to it to Piccadilly Gold. Uh, it then went through, uh, that was when Owen Oyster bought it. I mean, he should have stuck to property something he didn't know about like radio stations um anyway uh that's a, that was a pretty sad blow really that i only found out because i was uh, I, I was i was listening to this uh i was checking this gec out because uh, I've, I've had to do the speakers i'll get to that in a minute and i was checking this gec out and uh, i decided to put the radio on and the football was on. Well, I don't listen to the football because I'm not a homosexual. 
Uh, so I don't listen to the football. Um, but I uh, was listening to, I was just, yeah, why don't I start my old, yeah, Philly Shave FM? Well, actually, it's not a bad idea. Uh, it's not a bad idea, you know, but uh, to start a radio station does cost money. And, uh, you know, you know what'll happen? Uh, you know what'll happen? Uh, all the pirates will start using medium wave. You know, all the radio pirates will start using it because it's no longer policed. Uh, the, uh, the rate of the frequency police don't police it anymore. Uh, it's no longer policed. Uh, they don't care. Or, well, if they do care, they don't police it. Uh, so it's a good place for radio pirates to hide. Um, you know, uh, there'll be nothing on it eventually. Um, but there's been a station there. Uh, for as long, I mean, they'll probably put something else on in place of it. But it's, you know, it's just sad to think, you know, that, uh, you know, you know, that uh, they can just take your favourite station and move it to somewhere where you don't want to access it or can't access it, you know. I mean, I mean, Piccadilly Radio used to ring out from every building site in Manchester and every hairdresser, except except for the ones that played Radio 1. Hey, we've got eight people watching and one like. Anyway, uh, what I'll do... Uh, I, think, I think we should get a petition up, really. But it wouldn't do any good, so there's no point. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, um, radio's a dead thing, isn't it? I mean, you know, how many people, you know, look at it logically? Nine people, thank you. The more the merrier. If you're not a subscriber and you want to be a subscriber, click the red subscribe thing and click the bell next to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, I mean, yeah, that is possible, connect all the CBs, yeah, in series, and yeah, just key one of them up, yeah, <laughs> hey, up we dropped to six people, there's some fucked off, he <laughs> come back, hey, we've got two likes, hey, we're going up again, a bit like a prosy's knickers, this is up and down, anyway, the point being, I just think it's, you know, uh, I just think it's uh, a sad moment, really, for, uh, you know, the people of Manchester, you know, we've lost, you know, uh, we've lost our radio station we've had since 1974, I mean, it's always been there, I mean, uh, you know, everybody I knew listened to it uh, back in the day, I mean... Uh, there's people around who can't even remember. I mean, there's people born today. There's people now that are in their 30s and they can't even remember it was called Piccadilly Radio at one time. There used to be a, there used to be, there used to be a big sign outside Piccadilly train station. Welcome to, welcome to Manchester. Home of Piccadilly Radio. And, uh, it used to be, it used, it used to, it used to be based in the, it used to be based in Piccadilly, uh, Piccadilly Plaza, at the top of Piccadilly Plaza, because all the aerials were on the top of Piccadilly Hotel, if I remember rightly. Um, I used to go in there, me and my mates, we were always in there, uh, getting stickers and badges, and, you know, they used to sponsor local events, and, uh, you know... Uh, I mean, they did one once. I remember they did one on Shent's Field in Wivenshaw when I was a kid. And you had to, all you had to do, you get a free record off them. I mean, what they give you was shite. Some, I think what I got was some Northern Soul piece of shit by someone who I'd never heard of on, uh, I can't remember what records it was on. I think it was CBS or something fucking daft. Anyway, they give you, you know, and all you had to do was turn up in odd socks. Well, that's easy. You just wash your fucking socks the night before, don't you? And then in the morning, you either get one back or two odd uns. 
you know, so, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, gone, I'm afraid. I don't know what they'll put there. Uh, whether in a few days we'll just get a load of noise. Uh, at first I thought they were just telling everybody. I thought, at first I thought it was just an announcement, you know, that you could pick them up everywhere, and then it went quiet. And then the same shite came back on, some bloke repeating himself like, you know, you can no longer receive us on this frequency. I thought, oh dear. You know, uh, it's gone. And I think it's sad, really, because... Uh, well, well, to be honest with you, you know, streamed radio isn't really radio. I don't care what people say. You know, if you're streaming it through your computer... Your smart speaker, a DAB, you're not really listening to the radio. You're listening to something that's pretending to be the radio. You know, it's uh, you may as well have a piece of what, oh, you know, DAB maybe, but because uh, uh, it does require an aerial. But uh, you know, your smart speaker, if you if you if you have your Wi-Fi cut off, your smart speaker's not going to work because it all works. It all works through your browser, through, through your internet connection. So if you get your internet, if you don't pay your bill, then they'll cut it off and you won't get it, will you? You, you know, unless you tune into FM. Or if your station that you want is still on AM, then you can, you know, tune in there. I mean, uh, I never thought they'd turn it off. Uh, you know, I never thought, I never thought in a million years they'd turn it off. I never thought they'd see it. Really, bad me. I'm not crying, I've got hiccups. Anyway, but the point being, uh, the, uh, you know, obviously, obviously, you know, the, you know, you know, listening to the radio is this. In stereo, and it's really easy. On an FM radio, tune in to... That's listening to the radio. That's being broadcast from a transmitter. Uh, via an aerial straight into here. Uh, across the ether and straight into here. Um, you know, I don't want a loud, I don't want a smart speaker. I don't want one. I don't intend to, you know, buy one. Uh, you know, I wouldn't get the use out of one. You know, uh I mean, what you know, what the, what what the idea is? Let's just check the chat. Hello, Steve. I was going to check the chat, but it faded, so I'll have to. If I press this button here, what will happen? Uh, live chat. Yeah, uh, it just gives me the last one. Hello, Steve. Out, you're okay. Uh, I'm just talking about. Uh, I'm just ta talking about the the loss of uh, uh, greatest hits radio, which was former, for which was. Well, you never know, but uh, Radio Caroline, yeah, you never know. They may, they may. I mean, something will come on in place of it, but it's what you know. I hope we don't get any religious stations. I don't do religion. Uh, oh, we don't get any religious religious stations of any description. I don't do religion of any description. I mean, the Americans have got all that, haven't they? Everywhere you go on the AM band, they've got religious stations. You know, fucking God fearing warmongers. Uh, <laughs> no disrespect to any Americans, by the way, but it's true. Uh, one of my sides of my glasses, I've teamed up on my glasses, both. But yeah, uh, anyway, moving on slightly. As you all know, I'll just get the camera and it will probably, everything will go everywhere. Uh, as you know, I purchased this music centre on Sunday, uh, Saturday. But, let me tell you something about these old music centres. It's not the music centres that you worry about, it's the speakers. And why do you worry about the speakers? Because all the speakers from that generation end up like this one. 
There's nothing wrong with that speaker, apart, apart from the fact it suffered from cone disease. Uh, it was rotted, as you can see. But what we're going to do, we're going to clean all this up. One night, we're going to clean all this up. And what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to repair, get, get this off the edge, get this edging and stuff off, and I'll try and get that off carefully, because that's plastic, and I think it can be saved as a plastic ring, so I'll be able to reuse that. So we're going to get that, we're going to clean that up, that speaker up, along with its friend, and we're going to repair them on, on a video, we're going to, that's going to be a video coming up. Uh... That's going to be a video. Um, but this has turned out quite well. It needs a, it needs a polish. Uh, but it needs the knobs cleaning. I need to polish the knobs. But yeah, it's turned up quite well. And if anybody's looking at it and thinking, well, the cassette deck looks a bit sunk, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, why GEC couldn't make it so it was level, I do not know. But uh, that's how it's supposed to be because it won't fit in any other way. That's the way it goes. And here's the speakers uh, in question. These are the originals. But these are not, I don't think these are the original to this. The, the original to this would have been brown. Uh, these are to the later sound deck. Uh, I think it was the last incarnation of it. But they are the same value. So, you know, they are still okay. And we will, if I don't sell, well done, I've put a set of, uh, I'll just... If we just oik a front off, there's an interesting word, oik. If we just oik a front off, because they're only stuck on, they're only stuck on Velcro. Uh, th these fronts are only on with Velcro, I mean, there's nothing technical, nothing technological going on here. So we pull the front off, but there we go. And the the, uh, the dust cover on that one's been pushed in, but I'm not bothered about that, because you can't see it. And there we go. Oh hang on, I've gone and uh, I've gone and pressed the wrong button. Here we go. Let's change your back. And what I've done, I've put uh, that speaker is a good replacement, and it fits there perfectly without any modification um, to the cabinet, and that does the job. But uh, and that's the Sony speaker. Both of them are they're exactly the same. They do like a little bit of range, but they had tweeters in them. And uh, I decided to go the route without the tweeters. But looking at this, I might go the route with them. It depends. It, it depends. What, what, it, what, what it all... Oh, shit, I've dropped off from. There we go. Breaking news. Man United... Breaking news, Man United make two new additions as they eye up next. Yeah, whatever. It went off before I could finish reading it. Anyway, never mind. But if I sell the music centre, if I get rid of it before I do the uh, jobs on the speakers, then I will save the speakers for another project. But we are going to do them, and we're going to do them on video and uh, and try and save them, because old speakers are hard to get. And it would actually be nice to get them done in time. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to hold off on selling this, because uh, I've got money tied up in it, and I want it back. So I'm not going to hold off on selling it. It sounds good enough to me. Um... I'm happy with it, so, uh, and if I'm happy with it, as far as I'm concerned, everybody else is. I've made new speaker leads. Uh, we've got new speaker leads because the speakers, the speaker leads, plugging up both ends on these GECs. Uh, so we've got new speaker leads in there. Um, but yeah, our speakers of all gener, our speakers of all this generation, will fall to bits. The foam will fall to bits. Um, no matter who makes them. The speakers, you know, if you're buying 70 speakers, 
that I've got foam foam edges, they are going to fall to bits or going to be in bits by the time you get them. I mean, the guy I bought this off, he didn't know that. You know, he didn't. He probably never pulled the fronts off and didn't know the fronts came off. You know, he probably thought they were put everything was put in and glued up, but they're not. They they they're, they're all done with Velcro. So you you know because uh, what if a speaker fails and they have to change it? You know they can't see they, they don't seal them up like they do now. They were still they, you know they were they were they were a close fit and they were held in with Velcro, so you could get them out and do a service on them and uh, repair them as such. Anyway, the HMV went yesterday. Uh, the lovely HMV that I had, you know, a nice mint one. Uh, that was bought yesterday by a nice young lady. And we've also got, to, she also uh, requested that I purchase and provide her with a little radio cassette. And uh, I've actually purchased one from eBay, a little Sanyo. I said so. I, I said to her something like a, a Sanyo or a Toshiba. And she said, yeah, anything like that, as long as it doesn't look as though it's been in a shed for 50 years. Well, I found a nice little one, and uh, uh, the price was right. Well, the price is never right, but, you know, because my idea of the price is as low as possible. Um, you know, but, uh, yes, I, I did I did pay for it. And she's under no obligation to purchase it. I don't do that. I don't buy something and then say, oh, listen, I got it because you wanted it. I don't do that. If if I you know when I get when I get it I will send her some pictures of it. Uh, I won't send her the eBay pictures because I'll I'll give it a bit of a polish and a clean before I send the pictures, before I photograph it. Because um, my idea of a photograph and someone else's is completely different. And uh, I'll you know, and uh, she can decide. But if she doesn't want it, it's no problem. I don't do that to people. I don't buy stuff for in in. Uh, unless, unless they specific, unless they specifically pick a certain model, a certain make and a certain model. If I was to then buy it, I would and uh, give it get the specification that they want. Then yes, they would be. I would. Uh, I would actually. Uh, I would be very. Uh, uh, I would very. Uh, it's misdescribed that as well. Because that's described as a ghetto stereo boombox, and it ain't. It's a mono radio cassette. Uh, uh, Sanyo radio cassette recorder model two uh, A O L, and they should have left it there, not put ghetto stereo boombox because it's not stereo. It's mono, but uh, I knew that when buying it, so I'm not really just spotted that. But I knew that anyway, so I'm not disheartened in any way. Wow, is that the time? Or is that the time I've been on? Surely that's not the fucking time. Time for for that. Thought it was too far to fucking. Thought it was 11 o'clock, I thought it was 12 o'clock. Yeah. No. I missed up the minutes, missed up the time I'd been on. But, you know, when all said and done, you're, uh, you know, uh, I've never done, I've never done speakers on my channel. Um, uh, I've never done speakers. Uh, 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 you know, I'm pretty sure you all see. I don't know, but you know, there's only so many record. There's only so many times you can service a record deck, and I've done just about all the popular ones. Um, I've done just about all the popular ones. I don't think I've done a gold ring. I've I, I've got a gold ring. Yeah, I think I did one. Uh, let's get me glasses on. Who catch this chat? People who say things like that don't know what they're saying. Yeah, it went off before I could read it. There we go. 
I'll read it all again later. I'll recap on the chat anyway after we've, you know, after we've come off, I always read it. Uh, I always look at your comments and, you know, uh, uh, treat them with the contempt they deserve or whatever. But, you know, and it, we're all said and done, I'm kidding. I respect everybody's opinion because opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. But the point being, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I've never, you know, or, you know, there's only so many times you can sit and watch a fat man strip an auto changer. I've done all the popular ones. Uh, I've been pretty much through the BSR range. Uh, I mean, you do, you, you know, uh, you do one of theirs, you've done them all. Uh, if you do, if you, if you, if you do one of the, from 19, from, from 1954 to 1957, uh, to the UA8, uh, they were different changes, uh, but from 1957, 19, uh, from 1957, I think it was, or 1958, all the, all the way up to the late 60s, uh, the changes were all the same, they're all the same mechanism. Uh, they just had slightly different arms and turntables. I mean, and the the the, uh, the BSR Auto, the BSR SS, uh, the BSR uh, UA fifteen SS. Uh, you know, people. Yeah, it's it has. I mean, yeah, I'll touch up on that. Uh, vintage i fi has gone through the roof. The reason why is because people think the shit's worth money. If people didn't pay the prices, it wouldn't be allowed to get to, to, to do that. I mean, I mean, what I paid for this little radio, I don't mind paying that, really, uh, because I know I'm going to make something on it. I won't make a fault. There's nothing, there's not really a lot to be made. But, you know, uh, uh, you know, I just think it improves uh, customer relations as well. Uh, she's got a few record players, may want me to service. And, uh, you know, it's basically providing, you know, what she wants, what anyone wants. I mean, if anybody wants to request a certain item, I'll do my best to try and find it and uh, refurbish it for them and then sell it to them. You know, uh, but I don't do like uh, you know. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean. Look at the dance set. Look at the, look at the dance set boom. You know, people thinking them fucking things were worth money. You know, and the biggest piles of shit ever made were dance sets. You know, they were worse than fidelity. And that's fucking and that's fucking saying something. You know, but even I was getting good money for them. I mean. Uh, you know, and the, the write-ups I used to put on my dance sets, you would not believe. I even I, I put one up on eBay once, and I actually it was a, a battery one, and I, I don't mind admitting it. Uh, you know, uh, and then what? What basically what I put was a uh, dance set. I've managed to capture their authentic valve sound using transistors. You know their valve. That you know, you know their transistor. That their valve amplifiers sounded no better than the valve that then their transistor amplifiers, and their ampli the transistor amplifiers didn't sound that good. Um, you know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a lover of dance sets. I think they're crap. Uh, but people pay for them. People want to pay for them. They can pay for them. It's no problem. You know. But uh, I, you know, I sell them. You know, I sell them for what I think they're worth. You know, uh, you know, here's me talking about dance sets, and someone, two, uh, two people are having a quiet conversation about nad amps. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know the, uh, you know, well, yeah, the, well, let's let's touch up on nad.
Uh, yeah, I've had some nad stuff myself and I've got good money for it. But I would never dream of putting a scabby old amp up on eBay and expect to get a fortune for it. Um, people, people sell them because pe pe people, people expect that because they think the name's good. And the name is good. But, you know, you know, we're talking here about amplifiers that are 50, 60 years old. Maybe, maybe 40 years old. You know, uh, you know, I, I got, I got, I got one for nothing. Uh, I got one given me. It was supposed to be down on one channel, but it wasn't. I did a video of it. There's a video on me, uh, channel. Uh, I won't link it because I can't find it, but, uh, there's a video on my channel, uh, type in NAD, it'll come up somewhere, I'm sure of it. And, uh, you know, and it was a good amplifier. Uh, I think I only saw, I think I only saw, I put it on eBay. And, uh, I think, I, I think, I think, I saw, uh, yeah, my, I think mine was a 3020. You know, you know, but, uh, you know, I sold mine for about 40 or 50 quid or something like daft. I weren't bothered, you know. I mean, uh, you know, I charge a bit for my music centres. Yeah, the reason why is I have to do a lot of work. Um, and are they worth that? Well, probably. You know, uh, I mean, they sound better. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, a music, I mean, a music centre sounds better than any dance set, doesn't it? Uh, and I'd rather, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather have. Uh, I'd rather have a music centre because you've got the best of all worlds. Or at least you've got the best of all worlds that were available in the 70s. Hey, we've got six people who like. I wonder how many dislike. Because I can't monitor that on my phone. I can only see that on the computer. But when all said and done, uh, we're not monitoring on the big screen tonight. We're just looking at the phone because uh, I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just sat here talking. But... Uh, I mean, it's, it's like my reel-to-reels, I mean. You know, my reel-to-reels, I could get fucking, uh, you know, my Sony reel-to-reels. Even not working, you get 50, 60 quid for them. You know, it's... You know, I flogged one on eBay, uh, and I got 150 quid for it. I think I put it up for 150 quid. And I got... Someone paid what I was asking. Uh you know, and that was only a two-head model. I've got a three-head model in there, which is nice, and it's mint, uh, which I got from my friend Tony, and I won't sell it because it was given to me. Uh, young Daniel try, keeps trying to buy it, but, you know, uh, you know, if somebody gives me something, uh, you know, I, I generally don't sell it unless they say I can. And even then, I don't like to because... It's usually something that I'm after. But I have got another one of those exactly the same, and I'll probably sell that one. I'm just looking for a head cover for it. Uh, but even without a head cover, that would fetch good money on eBay. I know it would. Uh, because it works. You don't need the head cover to play it. You know. Uh, the stuff they make these days is rubbish. Everybody knows that. You can't buy good quality now. Um... Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, watch V Westlife's video on Tascam tape decks. You know, you might fall asleep watching his video, but still watch his video. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, the, the, the use, the, 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 you know, they use cheap mechanisms in them now because that's all they can get. And there are no tape decks made with Dolby on them anymore because Dolby no longer licensed the technology. You know, and it's because of the interesting vinyl, yeah. Hello, Ed B. Uh, I didn't quite catch Phil's message there. It'll pop back up again, hopefully. I'm not sure how you recap or put the messages at the side. I'm not sure how you fucking do it uh, on the phone. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with some buttons and see what happens. Um, I'll press that. 
Uh, top chat. May get to yours by the end of next month. Oh, lovely, Phil, with my hacker. Lovely. Yes, well, uh, we were discussing that last night. Hang on. Live on air for everybody. There you go. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have smelly phone, in it. Yeah, more than two sniffs of that fucker in your greedy. Right. Uh, well, Dolby doesn't license the Dolby noise reduction anymore. Uh, because nobody, because the only people who make cassettes is Tascam, apparently. Uh, and Tiac, which are the same company, I believe. Uh, but, uh, uh, I mean, let's face it, though. Uh, the Dolby Labs, they made a hell of a lot of money out of it, didn't they? I mean, uh, they made a lot of money for those who paid for it. They made a lot of money out of the licensing over the years. Um, and uh, did you really need Dolby on the tape deck? Uh, that that could get a, that that could create a debate in itself. It could create an argument in itself. But I have to say, if the cassette's recorded loud enough, uh, not too loud so it clips, but if it's recorded loud enough uh, to overcome the hiss, then no, you didn't need it. Because I've got machines in here that don't have Dolby, and they'll play a Dolby they'll play a Dolby encoded cassette with no problem, and they don't hiss. <coughs> You know, you don't really need Dolby. You know, you know, Dolby was created for that rare and endangered species, the audiophile. Um, how many audiophiles? Now, be honest with me here, guys and girls. How many audiophiles do we actually have on here tonight? Be honest. How many of you? think the cost of the lead that you connect the amp with is worth more than the cost of the amp that you're going to listen to the music through I bet there's a few uh, come on own up how many audio files have we got on uh, that would be nice to find out uh, none no I'm pretty sure there's got to be yeah there's got to be come on there's got to be who's an audio file you know uh, the definition basically what audio files do they use your record well not your records because we don't make records they use records yes I'm the same Kevin I've never used Dolby uh, never used it never needed it if you record if you record if you record it correctly if you've got your signal just how you want it, then you don't need it. You are a sensible, budget-conscious audio file. Hey, we've got one on. Let's find out where he lives and go and hang him. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't mind budget audio files. It's uh, the audio files that uh, spend... Five hundred pound on a lead, for example, you know, just to clean the, but just because there's a capacitor in it to clean the mains. Well, I've got good news for you. The the manufacturers have already thought of that. They call filter capacitors and smoothing capacitors, uh, and chokes. They already put that. They already put that stuff in your amp. It's all in there, done. So all you have to do is plug it into a two forty volt in the UK. And most of Europe, or a one ten volt in America, and uh, and Japan, and wherever else accepts one ten volt uh, items. Um, uh, you know, yeah, I just can't make sense of it. Honestly, I can't. I mean, I like nice things. I really do. Uh, I mean, I've got a garage zero. And before anybody says it, no, it does not qualify me as an audio file, which is about to get up to up to an out to 
an Armstrong amplifier with a banging awesome tape deck. I'm not an audiophile. I've got I've got Sansui speakers. I'm not an audiophile. I just like nice stuff, but I like nice stuff because it does the job. Um, you know, uh, I mean, when you buy when you buy when you buy a tuner or a CD player, the the lead that comes in the box is adequate to work with that piece of equipment. Otherwise, the manufacturer wouldn't give it to you. You know, uh, like when you buy when you when you buy something like when you bought a music center in the seventies, the speakers were tailored to work with the piece of equipment you bought. Or at least that's what we were told. Or at least we were told that by GEC at any rate, the speakers are tailored by our engineers to work with a piece of equipment that you choose. And <laughs> You know, well, yeah, that's fair enough. You know, I can, uh, I can, I can accept that. That the uh, they, 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 yeah, you know, uh, but I don't accept that. Uh, you know, the need to, I don't see the need to go out and uh, you know buy a lead. Uh, an oxygen free, supposedly oxygen free lead for uh, 30 quid or thereabouts when you can use the lead that came with the equipment and it'll do the job adequately. You know, I mean, CD players sound very clean. There's no escaping that. They do sound very clean. They sound very good. I'm not a lover of them because they're unreliable. And uh, at least with good old record players, you knew where you were at. If you didn't play, it was one or two things. If the turntable went round and the arm slid across, you needed a new stylus. If the turntable didn't go round and the belt had come off or the idler had gone funny, you know, or the motor had burnt out, uh, or you simply hadn't plugged it into the mains, which I've seen before today. Um, but yeah, you know, 30 quid for a, you know, a scale of diminishing returns. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, you know, if you can get really nice equipment, cheap, we all like nice equipment and we all like it as cheap as we can get it. I don't, I don't have a gripe with that. You know what my argument is is so you know you know some so, some idiot spending uh, some idiot spending a few hundred quid uh, on a lead to connect a piece of equipment. You know they might spend extra on a lead that's got a capacitor in it. Well, come to me, I'll sell you a lead with a capacitor in it. You know, uh, you know. You know, or because it's gold plated. If you saw how much gold plate they put on them leads, you wouldn't even buy them. There's very little, and it doesn't take long before it wears off. You don't get a lot of gold in your lead. Uh, trust me, you don't. Uh, a couple of plugs in and out, and it's gone. Uh, I mean, the idea is you plug it in and leave it, but audio files are always messing about. I mean... Uh, I knew one years ago and he used to mess with the weight on the back of his arm. And he didn't have a bloody clue what he was doing. He'd spend hours messing with the weight on the back of his arm. And he didn't have a bloody clue what he was doing. Didn't have a clue how to set it. Uh, and I think, he, I, think, I think he had a weight. Uh, he had it so that it actually just rested on the record. Well, what good is that? The idea is that the stylus sits comfortably in the groove. Uh, the minimum play weight really is two grams. Uh, you can go one and a half, but I reckon the minimum play weight is two grams. Uh, and that should be a man. That should be an absolute minimum. The maximum, well, uh, anything as long as your stylus is good and it doesn't weigh the same as a house brick, I'd say about to about six grams. From 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 two from two to six grams. 
Uh, have, have you seen audio grade fuses? No, I haven't, but uh, uh, I wouldn't mind. Uh, another guy had this idea. I won't say who he was, <laughs> but a friend of mine had this idea of uh, putting uh, of gold plating fuses and then selling them on eBay to audio files. How about that one? Gold plated fuses, yeah. And they would buy them, you know. The reason why is because audio files are thick. There's no two ways about that. I'm sorry if you are one, but, you know. You know what? They're, what someone's already doing them. <laughs> audio grade fuses. <laughs> There's some people. Do you know something? It has to be said. I hope there's no ladies watching. If they are, I do apologise for my profanity. But <laughs> there's a cocksucker born every day, isn't there? There really is. Let's just change this so you can you can at least some of, see some of the expressions on my face. Because I'm sure you've fed up of looking at that. There we go. Hey, my shirt's not too bad. One, two, two stains. Uh, and that was only because I had a pot noodle earlier. There we go. But yes, uh, audio files. Yes, they don't they, they don't buy your records to listen to them. They buy your records to listen to their equipment. That is what an audio file does. Um and you know, uh, I don't understand to be honest, I can't I can't fathom it out. You know, the mentality of it. I can't fathom it out. Uh, do I really want to? Yes, I'd love to be able to work it out. Look on YouTube. I can believe. I can. I can believe it, love. Egg. I can believe it, mate. You know, I really can. I mean, uh, you know, fucking audio for audio grade fuses. Uh, yeah, I mean, they do audio grade capacitors. I mean, uh, I bought some for uh, young Daniel Tattersall's uh, Pioneer amp. Uh, well, I didn't buy them. He bought them on my recommendation. But that amp needed those capacitors. Uh, so, you know, because it's a nice amp. It's, you know, uh, you know, or receiver as the Americans call it. In the UK, we call it a tuner amp. But it was a nice tuner amp. And it deserved to have the best spent on it. So uh, that was why he went for the higher grade capacitors. Uh, I mean, we could have put some cheap shitters in, but it wouldn't have done it justice, and it would have been sacrilege uh, to do that. Um, you know, uh, it's like my, uh, um, it's like, like like my what do you call it when I recap that? Uh, what's it called? Armstrong. When I recap my Armstrong. Um, I put decent caps in it. You know, I actually ordered them, uh, and I put decent capacitors in because the thing was so well made. This GUC here, this uh, this had Nikon Chemicon caps all over its amp. They were they were all Nikon Chemicon, and most of them were okay. The only one I found that was duff, and that weren't a Nikon Chemicon one, <laughs> but most of them were Nikon Chemicon. You know, and. Uh, you know, British made music centres had a bad reputation. People, you know, audio files didn't like them. Uh, you know, but then again, audio files don't like anything unless there's unless the power lead or the audio leads to connect it are at least five hundred pounds. Um, you know, we should discount audio files from being enthusiasts. They're fanatics, like Hitler. He was a fanatic. Boris Johnson, there's another fanatic. Uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're fanatics. They're uh, not uh, enthusiasts. Ugh. Sorry, you just all had to look down my gob. You know, it's like me, for example. I class myself, I class myself as an enthusiast. Um, because... I'm a real music lover. I always have been. Uh, I'm a real music lover. Um, 
a like audio equipment i like how it works i like figuring out how it works i like that's why i got into electronics because i wanted to understand how it all worked and how it was all done and i still don't understand but we don't know everything i mean the only person who does is the oracle uh he's not called the oracle for nothing uh but uh <laughs> you know all joking apart you know i got into it because Oh, that's because I wanted to. It's, you know, it was my choice. <clears throat> you know, and uh, yes, it was a bit disappointing tonight. Uh, a bit, a bit, uh, yeah, I was a bit ups. Hang on. <coughs> uh, I had to put my hand over my mouth. I didn't want you all getting COVID-19 there, did I? Uh, not that I've got it, I haven't. Uh, but we didn't want to, you know, we must social distance. Um, uh, yeah, they've yeah they, they've started reissuing Jimmy Savile's tracksuit, haven't they? As a social distancing device. <laughs> anyway, anyway uh, buy one of them, no fucker will come near you. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello, Benji. I'm not up to a lot, really. We're just, we're just discussing audio files. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, cheers, Ed B. I will take care. I'll do my best. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm very, uh, very, I do myself to be careful. Yeah, so yes, sir. so at least we know Benji's not one. Uh, and what's his name? Is isn't he? Uh, Radio Cruncher's brother. He, he's a headphone. He, he's an headphone audio file. Fucking headphone audio file. Wow. Yeah, he put an appearance on his fucking program one Sunday, didn't he? It's as thick as each other. Headphone audio file. Wow. And he's going on about these fucking headphones. And as far as I'm concerned, a fucking pair of headphones is a pair of fucking headphones. I mean, I've got... And I don't you lot start making assumptions when I tell you this. I've got a pair of headphones and I paid £70 for them. Uh, the proper professional monitoring headphones. But... I bought them for a purpose. Um, at the time I bought them, I bought them for a reason. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, at the end of the day. Uh, I just can't see the point. I mean, yeah, be an enthusiast, but not a fanatic. You know, I mean, love the hobby and love the music that you know that the that the hobby produces. You know, well, I know you do, Benji. I mean, I like my hi-fi. I'm a real hi-fi buffer, really. Amber, I'm not an audio file. You know, I won't. I won't buy a lead because it's got a capacitor in it. You know, because that you know you don't have to. You know, it's. It's all, it's all snake oil. All this stuff, it's all snake oil. Gold-plated plugs, oxygen-free cable. It's all snake oil. Why is it all snake oil? Because the manufacturers have done all that in the design of the equipment. Well, yes, that's true. All these do have capacitance. But all, all you need... All your needs are taken care of by the manufacturer. They call smoothing capacitors and chokes, you know, or filters if you're in the Amer if you're in America. Uh, uh, you know, uh, so really, it's all a load of bollocks. I mean, nothing, 
nothing short of build, nothing short of rebuilding the amplifier and redesigning it would make a great deal of difference to the sound of the amplifier. Um, you know, uh, uh, the cartridge. Uh, let's move on to cartridges. Uh, does the cartridge make a big difference uh, in a ceramic amplifier? In a, in a in an area where ceramic cartridge is used, it does make a little bit. I'm just looking at Benji's. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, that's right. I mean, uh, anybody can do their own, but they don't. They buy them because they think that's what they should do. Uh, but so talk, let's talk about cartridges. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's like capacitors. When you sold the capacitors in, you keep the legs as short as possible. Uh, well, with any component, really. So sometimes you can. I mean, but most of the time we try and keep the legs as short as possible. But, yeah, connecting up any equipment, have the leads as short as possible. Uh, it works better, so they say. But uh, let's, talk about, let's talk about the heart of the record player, uh, the cartridge. Right, uh, in my opinion, for ceramic use, uh, the SC12M. Uh, the SC12H is a bit hot for a lot of stuff, uh, but the SC12M is probably about the best. Uh, certainly goes good. Certainly gives really nice frequency responses. The uh, the Tetrad cartridge, which was used in most of the Allen Sugar shitters, most Amstrads have them, uh, they tend to be a bit, uh, they tend to be a bit, uh, you know, they tend to not be as, as uh, capable, they tend to be a bit, a bit off, uh, they don't sound as good, uh, they don't do, uh, they, they have a frequent, they have a different frequency response, They're not as nice, I think, I think it's, I think, I think they chop off a bit of the, a bit of the high end, to be honest, uh, if I remember rightly. We'll find that out one night, because we've got one here. So we'll do a test one night. And uh, But when it comes to magnetic cartridges, uh, I've heard that moving coil, moving coil are better than moving magnet. Uh, I, know, I know they have different... Uh, I know they have slightly different bias settings, because... I've got a preamp here home, it's telling me low battery. Why is it telling me low battery? Let's make sure we're plugged in properly. Shouldn't be telling me low battery yet. Oh, battery is low. Yeah, listen folks, if it fucks off before I finish. Shit, I can't get the fucking lead back in. There we are. Okay. There we go. Right, I'm just wondering, I'm going to go in a minute anyway, but yeah, 58 minutes, I normally get two hours, I can normally yap for two hours before it dies, uh, I'm barely getting an hour out of it tonight. Yeah, I think how much it's worth now. You know, a four oh one. I mean, you know, they, you know, but they, you know, I don't class them. I don't class them because I do like them. They are nice things. I never had one, but they do look nice. But they were aimed at the broadcast industry. I know you could buy them, and you know, Garrard had to accept your money as well as as quick as they accept the BBCs. I know they could be, and you could request them to be fitted into high end systems. I know all that, but they were really aimed at the broadcast industry. That's why it didn't come with a tone arm, so they could so that the broadcasters could pick their own tone arm. Uh, you know that's why I had no tone arm on them, but uh, so it could be added and they could have what they wanted. But uh, you know. Uh, You, 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 you know, you, you, you know. I'm not saying I'd say no if somebody knocks on my door and give me one. 
but uh, a 401 that is. But I wouldn't pay the prices that they're asking for them. I just don't think they're worth it. They've got a cheek, to be perfectly honest. Um, but when all said and done... Yeah, they did, didn't they? I mean, direct drive wasn't too bad, especially the ones with quartz lock on them. I've got a quartz lock attached here, which is getting scrapped. Uh, and I've got a Technics. Uh, I've got a Technics. I've got a Technics one as well, which is getting scrapped. It's not a good Technics. It's a cheap one. Designed to come as part of a Hi-Fi, and there's no dust cover with it, so that's why it's getting scrapped. <laughs> but I'm going to build a turntable. Uh, that's another forthcoming video at some point. I'm going to build a turntable. I'm going to buy everything I need. And I'm going to buy the tone arm as well. Um, and I'm going to build a turntable myself. Uh, out of bits and bobs. And uh, I, reckon I, can, I reckon I can build a turntable. That'll probably, that, that, that probably beat the fuck out of everything you can buy today. But it will be using direct drive. Either the Attache or the... Uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll do, I'll do a comparison uh, with RPM and see what, which one holds the speed better. And uh, which whatever one or whatever's the most accurate. Yeah, I, I know that, but at least... At least, uh, if you've got quartz lock, at least you know it's not going to be varying as much, is it? I mean, uh, you know, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, the, the, uh, yeah. Admittedly, the record cutters are actually just, you know, they're, they're just getting straight mains, aren't they? But it's, you know, it helps. To, it helps, I think. You know, I just, I think it, I think it does improve the matter, somewhat. But uh, um, I'm going to go for quartz lock direct drive. Why? Because it's done at the flick of a switch and it's easier. I don't have any mechanisms. I'm going to order a sheet of acrylic at the size I need. And I'm going to just build everything. I might do it in black. We'll see yet. <coughs> I might even, oh no, I won't do it transparent because uh, I've been out of sea anyway. I'll probably do it in black acrylic. A nice big thick piece of black acrylic. And I'm going to machine it with my Dremel. Uh, I'll machine it all with my Dremel. And um, I'll put uh, some sort of a tone arm on there. Uh, I might even look for a scrap garage zero uh, to get the tone arm. Because I don't fancy putting an, S an SME on it. Everybody does that. Anyway, listen, folks, my battery's going to go. I keep getting a warning. Low battery. Anyway, you all take care. And uh, I shall catch you later. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. I've certainly enjoyed coming on and just having a bit of a chat for a change and a bit of a rant as well. And uh, we fi I finally got the issue of audio files off my chest. Uh, yeah, you, all, you all take care. And... Uh, I shall catch you later, and bye for now.